Kibaro. Ngapliang Savai Pi, Shinika program Kajongi, Health Essentials, Kabaju one lamsha pi, Manakapor, Yiki Pang, Kibadesh, Pang, Kakot Kakia Kajongi. Mutkumta, Hakaniginti, Hakanikapor Mantang, in your Abani Crunch Pang, VAC, Lane, Ki Village Health Council. But give an aging tip company, but come shy, Yi Halor Kane, Haka Studio Jungi, Idonia, E. Doctor Mary Debarman, Ibalong E. RCH Consultant, Hakajukapor, E. Longru, E. In Charge, Jong Ka VHC. But the Ikong Florentina Lingdo, Ibalong e District Community Process Coordinator, East Kasi Hills District, NHM. But Hashua, Ba Ninyas Dang, Yakane Kajin Kranjungi, but E. Dr. Mary, but Ikong Florentina, Ninya Petua, Kandiat Yakane Clippings. VHC is a community institution which will enable you to discuss the health and nutrition issues important for your community. The most important function of the VHC is empowering you to solve health issues on your own. For instance, the VHC can help persuade a pregnant woman in your community who may be hesitant to register for health checkups or go to the dispensary for her delivery. The VHC can persuade community members to take care of her other children when she goes for delivery. It can help mobilize members to take their children for timely vaccine doses. The VHC members may decide to collectively provide food to the Aganwadi Center so that the community's children have better nutrition. The VHC can mobilize the community members to attend Village Health and Nutrition Days. In case you are not able to solve any health issues on your own, then the VHC can help provide the support you may need to solve the problem. The VHC leaders can communicate your health issues to the medical or government officials. This will enable them to provide the care you actually need to solve these issues. Moreover, the VHC members can use the IEC books to help you learn about what you need to do, both as individuals and as a community to stay healthy. It can also inform you about important government schemes which you can avail for your health. The Parlong in Yaputang Yakanaka Jayakran Kajungi, but Dr. Mary, but E. Kong Florentina. Welcome, Doctor, to our show, Play P. Kong Florentina Shakanaka program Kajungi. Dr. Mary, the first question I would like to ask you. Can you tell us about this VHC or the Village Health Council? Yeah. So thank you once again and good evening to everyone. Um, as the name implies, Village Health Council, it is basically a community institution that will inform people about health and nutrition issues. Basically that is in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. So it is nothing but an institution that is in the community just like we have any other institutions in the community, like for example, educational institution, we have the schools, and we have the uh, religious institution mm -hmm. like the church or mosque or temple. Or so similarly, this is also an institution in the community that is going to address basically the health and the nutrition aspect in the community. So that is all about VHC. Uh, thank you, doctor. Uh, would you like to tell us what are the roles that these VHCs have. Yeah, so to explain about the roles of VHC, let me just explain in very three points. First is that it is going to mobilize demand mm -hmm. from the uh, community. Secondly, it is going to form a linkage between the community and the state health system. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, it is going to help in implementing solutions in the community. So let me just explain mm -hmm. one by one. So the first thing is when we talk about mobilizing demands, like <coughs> health is an issue that is very rarely, you know, talked about mm -hmm. or that is a least priority to anyone. So whenever we talk about health, the first thing that people understand is pregnancy or mm -hmm. immunization. But health is something even more than that. Like, you know, not just, and whenever we talk about health, it's always the women who come into mm -hmm. the focus. We do not have uh, men giving much yes. of a priority, neither do they get mm -hmm. priority. So because of this, and we know that uh, through so many studies and surveys happening, many of our indicators in Meghalaya are quite low. Like for example, we have the highest cancer rate, East Kasi Hills mm -hmm. being highest in the country. 
then we have very uh, not just cancer rates, but we have the highest tobacco consumption. We have a lot of uh, tobacco related diseases coming. Then we have teenage pregnancy, which is second highest in the country. And then we also have very high maternal mortality and high infant mortality. So those are like very, uh, it's an issue that can be addressed only by the community. <coughs> mm -hmm. That happens in the community. So when we say that we need hospitals, we need doctors, we need nurses, of course there are like less resources, but hospitals are there. But many times it does not reach to the community. Mm -hmm. The health services do not reach to the community. So supply side is there, but the demand is unable to meet. So mm -hmm. there is no, uh, there is a mismatch between the supply and the demand. Mm -hmm. So by having a village health council, we are trying to mobilize the demand sector so that you know people would understand about what's going on in the health. People would understand what's going on not just in the state but in their block, mm -hmm. in their village, and because of which they would be aware of the health services available. And with that awareness, they would be able to come to, you know, demand, generate the... De so that is one of the reasons why VHC is there, to be able to give them a platform so that their demand is generated. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so through this VHC, there are like, for example, a lot of uh, facilities available. Like, for example, immunization services mm -hmm. are available, say ultrasound services mm -hmm. are available. It does not reach up to the last mile. Yes. If people understand, if there is a gap, you know, a filler mm -hmm. through which they can get the information, so they, the people will automatically be able to ask for mm -hmm. it. So village health council therefore will form like a linkage between mm -hmm. the cell, state health service as well as the community. So it will act not like a platform, just just not like a platform for generating demand, but it will also be a linkage mm -hmm. between the health system and their community. And also this will help, this council will help them implement solutions. Like for example, they know that okay, so and so service is available mm -hmm. in the hospital. Like, let me give a very simple example. Um, like they would know that they can take their pregnant women or a sick child to the hospital for treatment or delivery. But sometimes they do not have transportation problem. They have mm -hmm. transportation problem. They cannot reach their own time. Mm -hmm. So there are various schemes in the state, especially schemes like CMSMS, Chief, Chief Minister Safe Motherhood Scheme, whereby they can avail transportation service at free of cost from their home to the health mm -hmm. facility and to drop back. So do our villagers know about this? Not many. Yes. So if we have a village health council, mm. the villagers will be aware of it. Mm -hmm. So they will be able to come and find a solution. We don't have transportation to transport our pregnant woman to the hospital. So by knowing that there is a scheme available through village health council, they can also implement that solution saying that, OK, we don't have, so let us have. So in a nutshell, that is the role of VHC. Mm -hmm. Basically, they would be uh, like a linkage mm -hmm. in between the community and the state health system and also a platform whereby not just sol uh, not just uh, they would be able to generate demands but also be able to give solutions to their community problem as regards to health. Thank you doctor that's very enlightening to hear that even the village uh, they can have like some sort of help support system as well. Yes. Uh, doctor can you tell us how are these VHCs formed? Okay, VHC, let me just tell you again that uh, VHC is something very unique in the mm -hmm. state of Meghalaya. In other parts of our country, people have a similar institution called Panchayati Raj. Now, Meghalaya do not have Panchayati Raj. Uh, there are other two northeastern states who, who do not mm -hmm. have Panchayati Raj. They are Nagaland and Mizoram as well. So. The village health council is slightly similar to that, mm -hmm. but VHC is very, very unique to our state. And uh, it was rolled out in our state. It was passed in the cabinet in 2021. And finally, it was rolled in 11th of February, mm -hmm. 2022. So it has, it's about a year now mm -hmm. uh, that it is rolled out in the state. And mm -hmm. there, were, there are no other uh, states who have this kind of similar councils. Mm -hmm. 
Now, how is this formed? It has a formal process of mm -hmm. forming. So, it is formed through a process called sensitization process. So that sensitization process is actually led mm -hmm. by a sector team. Mm -hmm. Now this sector team comprises of different departments. So basically VHC is not just a health department initiative, but it is expected to be a collaborative approach. Mm -hmm. So there are three departments involved in this. One is uh, health department represented by NHM. Secondly, we have the ICDS from social welfare. Mm -hmm and we have the MSRLS team from CNRD. Mm -hmm. So these three departments in the block level, representative of these three departments in the block forms a sector team. Mm -hmm. So when we form the VHC, it is formed through a sensitization process. That means we will be training mm -hmm. this uh, sector team, then they would in turn go and train the block level. And that is how it is formed. So we have uh, con uh, DCPC, the district communicator, uh, uh, sorry, the district coordinator with us, mm -hmm. Kong Florent, I think should be able to take on and tell us more about how uh, it moves forward from sector team to the block level. Yes, uh, thank you, madam. Kumblesh Pon Kongma, Hakanika Janmit. Habangi Pai, Shakanika Kumno, Ninkong, let's sing in Laban Krenshash Pangataka Village Health Council, Kikataka Village Health Council, Kabilit Health Council, Kadeka Kaseng, Kanika. Committee government have focused on that. Only, when we pet, ya ka bha kamyat jong ka koi ka kya focused on. But when we kalong ka jing kalum lang jong ki member ki prepared prepared ki government have focused on. Kumbe la batai mene ha kamat ma kadon ka jing ya shimpan talang na kui kui ki department ro kum ka social welfare na ka department jong ka ka health ka jong ki but kum jo ro jong ka national rural livelihood mission ling pa ka jing don jong ki SHGs. Hapoki, grassroots, and Hapoki Nikiba, Shapo do Hapoki, but then Hapoka, Shnonka to me. Habongi pet yaka, Kumnungi form, and Kumnungi Tao Yakiniki committee, Kiniki village health council, Kaban Kong Kalongba, Hapo Shnong, Kids Dangshua, the Kajing Sapriang, the Nikitaki awareness more, Nipalongi Kajing Pins, Smooth Hoo Shai, K. Kanika village health council, Hapoki Shnong Kitungi, Billingi don't come Yakiniki council. The Kila Adep so to shy Halo Jonkata can sustain one jet bedeki, members and a kid a cot, kiba, kiso to bang in a shimpenta lang, nebenta kakot kakia. But Katonga Banin Kong he, but Kabakam Kong son, Kalongba, Kanika Council he, Nilapen long, but Ginpin a Tau Yaka, Hakata Kurukom Kabaki brew he can snow dry. Kindon Kataka responsibility, Nika Tinket clear. Nakabenta, Kabaka, Junkashnong, but Kumjuru Yaka, Rukum Bam, Rukum Basa, Junkashnong, Katha. Kubleshi Wunkong, Doctor, Mary, coming back to you. Can you tell us what is the constitution of the VHC? Yes. So, because it is an institution, it does have a structure as well. So, this VHC is also formed with an aim that every village in Meghalaya must have a VHC. Previously, we had this called VHSNC, which is Village Health, Sanitation and Nutrition Committee. So VHC has replaced this VHSNC. So now those villages who were previously enrolled as VHSNC are also expected to, uh, to rename themselves as VHC. VHC is not just for village. So we have also localities in the urban area whereby they are they can be called as urban health councils or mm -hmm. locality health councils even in the mm -hmm. urban areas now what is the constitution of uh, vhc besides that every village must have uh, this vhc it it has in the leadership we have this three structures one is the general body executive body and the leadership so the leadership will be uh, given by the chairman who will be the head of the VHC. So this chairman will ideally be the local headman, Nok uh, Nokma in Garo mm -hmm. Hills or Rambashnong in Kasi and Jaintia Hills. They will provide the leadership as the chairman. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> just in case he is or she is not available, he can appoint someone mm -hmm. at the consensus of the general body. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, will be, he or she will be helped by the co-chair who is going to be the VO president. 
So the co-chair will be the president of the VU or in case of her unavailability, any active member at the consensus of general body and at the appoint, um, appointed by the headman can take the position of co-chair. We also have this in the leadership secretary mm -hmm. who will be elected by the general body who is expected to be an active uh, person who is concerned for the community uh, and the, he or she can be elected for general secretary. Now they have a term and all of this body, um, the executive body and the leadership position, mm -hmm. their term is three years. So after every three years there will be election and then <coughs> re-election can mm -hmm. happen. Now in the gen we have another position which is the executive committee members. Mm -hmm. So now executive committee members consists of 10 to 20 members of the households in the village. Preferably they are those people who are permanent resident of that village and who would be adult mm -hmm. at least above 18 years of age. So this will be the executive member. Now in the executive committee among the 10 to 20 members who are elected at least 50 percent of the membership should be by should be of women, should comprise of women. And uh, as I have mentioned, that re-election will take place after every three years and each member in the executive committee will represent a group of households, at least minimum of 10 households. Then we have this structure called the general body. So general body are those who are male and female representatives of the households mm -hmm. in that particular village. So that comprises of the VHC, the constitution of VHC. Uh, doctor, I think just now you mentioned that even <coughs> the women mm. have a, uh, are part of this VHC. Can you tell us about their role in the VHC? Yes. So as I have just mentioned that in the general body, mm. at least 50% membership should be of women. Mm. So therefore, they have a strong voice in the, uh, in the council. Also, the co-chair is uh, by default a woman mm -hmm. because the VO, the village organization, comprises of a cluster of collection of the self-help groups. Mm -hmm. So the representative, the president of that VO is going to be representing as a co-chair unless the co-chair is unavailable mm -hmm. or they want to, you know, they have identified someone and then they want someone else to take that. Also, I have, um <coughs> I have to mention this that VHC also consists of permanent members besides the leadership mm -hmm. executive committee members and the general body we also have the permanent members who are the permanent members are ANM, ASHAs, Anganwadi workers or CGHS. CGHS meaning community gender health activist. So they are already a permanent mm -hmm. member in the village so, and most of these ASHAs, Anganwadi they are already women. So as a result, there is a lot of uh, women involvement in Village Health Council. But as we are talking about this gender thing, may I just uh, uh, just add a line mm -hmm. saying that VHC is also formed with a purpose to focusing on more of male involvement, mm -hmm. more of male participation mm -hmm. in the, um, as regards health to sector. health and yeah, health and nutrition sector. Mm -hmm. Because as I have said in the beginning, that many times when we talk about health, we only think about women and mm -hmm. pregnant women and children. But we want more of male to participate, not just in uh, decision making, in identification, in problem solving as regards to health. So therefore, the leadership is given mainly to the headman. Uh, thank you, doctor, for that. Uh, doctor, can you tell us how many functional VHCs are there in the state? At present, we have 6,767 signed village health councils okay. and there are, there are mm -hmm. more. Uh, we are not fixed at these numbers mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, in Meghalaya, we have new, new village coming all the time. So as a whole, we have close to 7,000 villages mm -hmm. and right now we are at 98% formation, which is like, you know, we have only two to three villages who have not yet formed the Village Health Council. Kong Florentina, Philip Van Penshai, Hindi at Moa, Hado Karno Tuli, Kidon Kiniki, VHC, Batrekam, Haka East Cassie Hills, Pachongi. Habangi Pai Shaka District, Mojonka East Cassie Hills. 
ka jingdon to kini ki identified and ki village health council ki bangila khen ki ba ki ki village health council ni don hadu 6000 new po artli ki village health council tamba ha plan jong ki ni ro ki balong active ki don tang kumba hindu po hadu new po percent ki bon ki 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 jingtai kam ki jong ki ki ba ki la le ki balong ki barat ba mo hendai ha ring jong ki ni ro ni dang shamba ki dang don hi ki katu kat ni naka naka she spa de sing in aban long kom palai pho hadu sau pho ki dang don kam hi ki ni ki council ki ba kin kham pen tre kam kham ba su su da mal pang ni dang sedang ru men ta karang yat hi tang kom ba as nem du na i ti kong phila ban ye thu engi mo hatu ki ni ki khot kom bai la ong doctor men mo ki don ki khot ha ki ni ki vhc hatu ki ni ki khot ki yo ne am kum ka kenja training le ne ka kenja orientation mo naka naka iu naka office ki jong phi a ye kan ni ka ki haba ki eye training le pat ka kum jo ki jing hi kai mo ki orientation ba phair ba phair ka baning kong hi ki ai halor jong ka phang jong ka phc ka village health council baling hi penlong ye kan ni ka council ka ik ka jing don kam ni ka council ka training hi ka wan mo ka rukom ya ka training ka wan adu ka state level ka wan ha po ki district level haba ngi don mangi kum ki dcpc ki dpm ki don ki dpm to ki nrlm ki blayo training bat kum ta ka yat tres ka level jong ki block level ki block level kum bila batai i madam ne ki don ki cdpo ki bpm jong ka nhm ko jong ngi bat kum juru jong ka nrlm te kini ki yat ka ta ka casket kum bangi ong mo jong ka block level te hapo jong ki ni pre ka training kin sa ai maki pre ya ki village health council kin kin sa ai ki man na ki shnong pa kin ai training chadu ka grassroots level doctor since kong florentina has just explained to us about the training can you elaborate on what's the training training process which is which are given to the vhcs so regarding this training before the formation of vhc when it was first rolled out in our entire state the, as I mentioned, that um, there was a sensitization process. Mm -hmm. So already the sector level team were uh, sensitized on this. So they in turn went to the block, and then the, from the block level, they have identified mm -hmm. um, the villages called the headmen, the ashas, Anganwadi workers, had a meeting with them and sent them back to the villages so that they would go and talk to the villagers and form the members, mm -hmm. the general, the executive. And then after that, uh, after the consensus, they were supposed to mm, sign a form. And then that formed, that signed form by the chairman, the co-chairman, and the secretary were to be submitted to the block program manager, mm -hmm. to the block office. So that is the, you know, the uh, official mm -hmm. procedure. Now, that was in the initial part. Now, over one, um, about the completion of one year, a reorientation was done again because a lot of confusion happened, mm -hmm. you know, as expected with any new program. Mm -hmm. So a lot of villages and a lot of community, even officials were quite confused about the functions of VHC, what is VHC. Some people thought that it had a political motive. Mm -hmm. And you know that um, there was, and they were very skeptical. There were a lot of villages who resisted information. And you know, and they were almost like um, uh, not in good terms mm -hmm. with our officials, saying that you are coming and introducing us something very new. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have some hidden agenda mm -hmm. on that. So, I mean, I it is taking time to roll out. So after the election is over, people, you know, they are sort of awake that mm -hmm. there was nothing to do with any kind of mm -hmm. different kind of agenda. Mm -hmm. So this is nothing but to empower our community. It is just another form of institution whereby we would empower them, especially in regards to health mm -hmm. and nutrition as of now. So um, while talking about this training, mm -hmm. so because we felt the need mm -hmm. that people needed to be sensitized again, so we had this reorientation training program starting from the districts. So in the month of June and July, we have completed all of our uh, training of the traders sensitization mm -hmm. program, uh, where we went to all the district headquarters, like in Shillong, Jawai, Dura. We trained all the 11 district members as a trainer, mm -hmm. TOT. <coughs> and the TOTs were represented from three departments, like the NHM, the ICDS from social welfare, and the 
NRLM, mm -hmm. which is the MSRLS team. So the officials represented the block program mm -hmm. managers, the district coordinators, the district program managers. Then we had the even the account managers, district account managers, and um, we had the CDPOs. So from the state level, we went and trained up to the district level as the trainer. Mm -hmm. So these trainers would go and train the block level. Again, they would go and train from in every block. They would at least 18 to 20 VHCs they would call and then start mm -hmm. training them again. Basically reorienting them again. Like what is VHC? Like what is the function of VHC? What is the role? And if you are a chairman, what is your role? Mm -hmm. If you are a secretary, what is your role? If you are the permanent mem members, what is your role? Because a lot of people were confused even about their roles. Some of them thought that, you know, I do not get to mm -hmm. be the secretary. That means I am being sidelined. I do not get to be in the leadership. So all those mm -hmm. confusions um, we had to address. And we started with this district level training, uh, which is completed. That <coughs> we were supposed to complete by the um, end of August. But due to many other programs mm -hmm. running concomitantly, we had to uh, continue our training till September, even up to first week of October. So in the training, what did we do? As I said, we reoriented again. So we reoriented about VHC, the function, the constitution, and the what are they supposed mm -hmm. to discuss about, what are they supposed to do as the committee members. Mm -hmm. So once we trained the TOTs, they were going, uh, in, in the training, we also did a mock uh, training. Mm -hmm. Like we had, um, during our training, we had this all the officials putting themselves into VHC as the headman mm -hmm. and then the chairman, co-chairman and the secretary and then the Asha Anganwadi talking about what is happening in their mm -hmm. village so that we get to know and feel like exactly what's mm -hmm. happening in VHC. So we had done those mock drilling, we had done uh, <coughs> the, this, this kind of live presentations mm -hmm. And uh, we, we we discussed about what are the things that they should do, and we had uh, taught them about the guidebooks, which Kong uh, Florentina will be telling us after okay. some time. So the components were all of that: how to train, mm -hmm. how to talk to the VHC members, and by being one of the VHC members, how did we feel? How did we not understand? Yes. What is that we need to know more? Mm -hmm. So all of these things were address so that we could feel exactly how it is like in the ground level. Uh, thank you, Doctor. Uh, again, Doctor, the next question is for you. Since the term is Village Health Council, mm. will they only focus on health or is it uh, totally a health-centric council? Yes. I would say yes, as of mm -hmm. now. It is health and nutrition-centric mm -hmm. at the moment, only because uh, health is given the priority yes. at the moment through mm -hmm. this council but it is right now in a very early stage mm -hmm. as this VHC, VHC is here to stay mm -hmm. it's not like you know it doesn't have mm -hmm. a, a, like year bound it is not a year bound program mm -hmm. that it will stay only for five years mm -hmm. or six years or so once VHC is formed it is there and once slowly slowly this VHC is built up the foundation is made then after that we would be able to address more besides the health, like we can address on the social issues mm -hmm. pertaining to their particular community. Then we can, uh, they can discuss about the developmental issues, educational issues. So all of that, they mm -hmm. can, they can, you know, start addressing anything that is related to the community. But as of now, it is health centric, health and nutrition centric. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, doctor. I think we'll take a break for some time. Yes. Parlock Ninia sang a ship or a canica jing a cranjungi, but e doctor Mary, but e con Florentina, but in your pet canica clipping. The VHC register and the VHC IEC book are powerful tools that the Village Health Council can use for the benefit of the community. The VHC members can use the VHC register to keep record of their activities, attendance and finance. The VHC IEC book can be used as a guide to help them prepare for their meeting.
The VHC IEC book can be used as a guide to help them prepare for their meetings and can be used during meetings as well to help answer questions of the community members, such as maternal and child health, non-communicable diseases, and various government schemes. Before the VHC meeting, you can refer to the IEC book to decide on the topic you want to discuss. For example, if you were to discuss on anemia, you can refer to the IEC book and look for the pointers on the last few pages. These can serve as suggestions on how to move forward in a meeting. Fill in the suggested questions on the VHC register book in the meeting notes section. Note down the response from the discussion with the VHC executive committee. You can then note down the suggestions and ideas in the meeting notes. The action plans as well should be noted down. After the meeting, the members will have to enter their names. In the back section of the VHC register, finance details can be entered and recorded as well. After which, the chairman, co-chairwoman and secretary have to sign at the end. A photo of the meeting notes should be taken and uploaded to the VHC app. You can talk to your BPM if you have any doubts regarding the IAC book or register. The Parlog in Yepetang Bianca Nika Jing Kranjungi, but E. Dr. Mary, but E. Con Florentina. Well, Doctor, the next question is for you again. Uh, doctor, can you tell us, like, once a council is formed, is there anything that can assure that the council's commitment to health and well-being of the village? Yes. So, the VAC formation itself mm -hmm. in the beginning has a legal binding, because whenever they they have uh, they have to sign mm -hmm. the agreement form, saying that I so and so, and then mm -hmm. represented by the chairman, co-chairman, they will sign the agreement paper mm -hmm. and submit to the BMO in the block office saying that <coughs> whatever is expected of VHC, they are going to abide by it and then do the activities that is necessary to um, carry out as expected in a VHC. So first of all, the process starts with the signing of the agreement mm -hmm. paper. That will be in the record. So <coughs> once it is in the record, it is, you know, they are formally formed and all that applies to VHC will start applying from then onwards. Now, second thing to to uh, continue the accountability mm -hmm. of a VHC, like you know, many times you can just form and then they can just be there mm -hmm. without doing anything. The idea behind a VHC is that they would be doing something in the community regarding health and nutrition. Now, <coughs> um, so what is it that will keep them accountable? Mm -hmm. So we have made this a hard copy called VHC register. When we have asked them to form VHC, the Village Health Council, we have also told them that for you know any body to function, you also need some financial support. So they have been advised to start having a VHC bank account. Okay. So when they enroll themselves mm -hmm. and then get a bank account in their name, mm -hmm. VHC, so government will you know, help in the initial stage mm -hmm. by funding certain amount so that whenever they carry out any activities, they will not be left helpless because you need money for anything that mm -hmm. you do. So that account, now we give money, how do we have the account? How do they spend? Mm -hmm. Like whether they are spending in just tea and snacks and then they forgot about the other activities. Like there are other VACs who, who have collectively used the finance the money that they were given for hiring a vehicle mm -hmm. to transport a sick child or a sick pregnant woman. So you know the VHCs did that. Mm -hmm. Now talking about the accountability, now that we have formed this call register where we have a column about mm -hmm. the activities performed. So whenever they have the training, they are supposed to note down in the register that so and so village has done training on this and this date and this, this, this members were present and it will be signed and endorsed by the chairman, co-chairman and the secretary. <coughs> so also with the money. 
So how much they have received money, how much they have spent, mm -hmm. and what is the balance, and on which day they have spent. That's all. It's a very, very simple accounting, very, very simple record keeping. So this accountability, this register, mm -hmm. they are supposed to have in every VHC. Mm -hmm. Every VHC is given one one register where they do keep the record. Now, that hard copy will be there with them. How do we know? Uh, suppose we want to know, suppose I want to know whether this VHC is in so and so block in East Kasi, say for example in Mokinru block, mm -hmm. in East Kasi Hills, whether they are having uh, meetings or not, how do I know? Mm -hmm. Now I care, oh, it is impossible to go and check nearly 7,000 mm -hmm. villages mm -hmm. every day, right? I mean every time. Mm -hmm. It's not possible for officials to go and check. For that reason, to make it much easier mm -hmm. in this technological mm -hmm. world, we have developed this called VHC app. Okay. So this app mm, is used through Appverse, which is available in Google, Google Play Store. They can mm -hmm. download it. And then this VHC app is made very easy, and it can be ut uh, used even in offline mode, because many people, the moment we mention about app, they will say that we have network issues. So in order to address the network issues, we have made it into a offline friendly mm -hmm. mode so that people can just upload mm -hmm. and then sync it. Now, in this VHC app, what they are supposed to do, as I mentioned, that we have register. So once they have signed the register, once they have written the agenda, and also they have uh, written the resolution. Mm -hmm. Like for example, in a VHC meeting, in a particular village, they have identified that they have a lot of teenage girls who mm -hmm. are pregnant. And now they, they understood that, okay, in our community, this is going to be a problem or they have identified a lot of substance abuse mm -hmm. among the teenagers. They have identified that to be their issues, okay? So they are writing down in the register that we have high teenage pregnancy, high substance users among the young children. So now they have made a resolution, for example, in the village saying that we will identify, we will give them health talk or we will talk to the parents. Mm -hmm. Suppose they have written that in the register that they are expected to click a picture and upload it in the app. <coughs> so that uh, for those of us who want to, for any of us, mm -hmm. anybody who wants to know about VHC, they can go through the app and then click on that particular village which is under mm -hmm. a certain block, under a certain district. So by clicking that, we will be able to know that, okay, this village is uh, having this this is kind of issue they are, they have resoluted to uh, address their issues in these steps so in that way their accountability is recorded so we have the register in hard mm -hmm. copy so for those areas where you know app usage is quite challenged mm -hmm. they can very well use the register and for those people who are app savvy who can you know m y use it with ease the app is also there so that app not just functions as a record, but it also helps as a, um, a monitoring mm -hmm. functionary so that you know any official want to monitor, you can find. Also, it will help us in research in future so that mm -hmm. we want to know what kind of, you, you want to do any kind of study prevailing in any kind of particular district. So this app will be able to give us adequate information mm -hmm. to carry out studies. Uh, doctor, <coughs> like, is there a specific person who's supposed to do the record keeping or is like anybody from the VHC? Yeah, so the secretary is expected mm -hmm. to do the uh, record keeping mm -hmm. usually. So in uh, they, they can always adjust. It's mm -hmm. not something very rigid that mm -hmm. you know only secretary and yeah. suppose the secretary is unavailable, mm -hmm. uh, others cannot do. So anybody who is you know active, mm -hmm. who is literate <coughs> enough, they can do that. Thank you, Doctor. Kong Florentina, ngan wan pa siya kimo manta ni ka jingkili. Fila ano ba tayo ng isip ang kani agreement kani ka jingya manjur mo kabala siyem da ka VHC kala kumbagi os ngomo ba ang kadan ka village health agreement fila ano ba tayo isip ang kani? Ah, wala habang ipay sa halor jang ka village health agreement mo kani ka agreement kalong ka jingya soy. Na do ki kila don lupa ta ka kadong kung ka kenda form kabagi pendap ba na do kasni kiba how? Then you form a committee, a village health council. Let's say, come on, I look side, Pimo. You form a village health council, like Krong, Hakakata Katarik, 
kata kesi, mau kita adon tak kita kijing soy. Tapi don tu kita kita agreement dan kita kita kimat jeng kijing soy. Kalong ba kadi bandon sampo persen kita bandai ki ayu ki long kemir. Mau kumta ter ter, bahkan kita kita jeng simpenta lah ni tak kita community participation, kijing simpenta jeng kita nong 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 kita band fulfil kita kita kriteria ni tak kita jeng don kita berada betah mana hapoka. Bullet Health Council, kumpai lah batai imadem mo. Menu body bandar tu kita kau dah ke executive, agak general body. Kila dia don ni am kat kumpai kata. Ti halau jom kata ru kadi bandar kerja ni sak hilang jom ke BDO office, ke BPM jom NRM, NHM, pat ke CDPO. Ti halau jom kata ke form, subuh minta kila ada besoi berakon. Mud menu kita bandar berakon dah kata ke meeting, kita ban ayeh ka, jing ke kerteng jom ke, pat ke jing soi ke jom ke. Tekong hatu kan nusian kini ki VSC ki don kam bani kenduk mo hakis nong hatu ki haban buk dake kenja kumpangi lakban omo ke kalender mo lani ngi haban buk lupa kita rek kata kata sien ni kumta makini kenduk Habangi pahi saya kata kejingi kenduk lani kejing pelong ngi ki meeting Kabani kong hi kalong ka kejing don kam jangka komedi Nambar ngi kum naka liang jangka ke sektor, mahu ke health sektor, kerja ni ngimla, ban betah, kerja PAP berpelong meeting kata kata. Hendai hot as per norms ni don ban pelong sisian hak kerja bnai. Hendai kerjong hak kerja don kam don ke komedi. Teng teng kerja don ke komedi, ke village health council kerja don kam ni asy ban pelong kerja artili hak kerja bnai ro. Di kerjong hak kerja don kam kat kumka kerja don kam don ke senong hi. Doctor, do you have can we add or do you have anything to add? Regarding to the schedule of the meetings or the calendar of events of these VHCs, um, VHCs at least are expected to have once monthly mm -hmm. meeting, but there is no <coughs> uh, there is no timeline for them. Mm -hmm. Like you know, no no strict rigid mm -hmm. schedule for them. They are at liberty at whatever time they want to have, but one month, one per month is the minimum requirement. They can have as frequently as possible. I mean, as it is feasible mm -hmm. for them. Even once weekly is very much welcome. Regarding the timing, there are some villagers who are very comfortable early in the morning and some villagers who are comfortable more at night mm -hmm. because after their field work mm -hmm. is over and all, they are able to gather together and uh, they can do. So it is completely left up to their convenience on what time and which date they should have. But then, at least one per monthly is mm -hmm. expected. Now, <coughs> we would be able to know, yes. the district coordinator will mm -hmm. be able to know whether these VHCs are happening mm -hmm. or not. There are various uh, officials who will be engaged in monitoring the mm -hmm. VHC as well, from the state level mm -hmm. to the district level up to the block level. The, we have the block program managers. They will be receiving support with the other officials from other line departments they would be able to monitor the VHC activities, whether they are having or not. We should also be having, <coughs> in the course of time, um, through app reminders mm -hmm. and all, so that the VHCs, you know, get reminders to mm -hmm. continue their activities and monthly meeting. And uh, <coughs> uh, monitoring will happen. Suppose they are not able to um, carry on their mm -hmm. monthly meeting or activities, they will be notified and you know, what is the challenge and all, they would be handheld and they would be supported mm -hmm. by our officials, yeah. Mm. So doctor, when they're having these VHCs are having these meetings, <coughs> uh, how, will, how will they know what points to discuss during the meetings? Yes. So let me just tell you, in the beginning, when the VHCs were asked to hold the meeting, mm -hmm. they just gathered, they looked at yes. each other, they had a cup of tea and then they dispersed. Then previously, when it was VHSNC, uh, we got reports from several uh, villages that they just had a cleaning drive mm -hmm. and then they had a feast, community feast, and that was it. <laughs> that was the end. Now. That is very much expected because you cannot expect mm -hmm. the villagers to talk about something very, you know, out of the blue, yes. something about health. Therefore, understanding this challenge, we made a guidebook for them okay. based on a lot of prevalent health issues that we have in our community. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, just <coughs> 
last month, between September and October, we have 41 maternal deaths. Okay, mm. pregnant mother dying, mm. 41 in a month, like you know, I in a gap of one month. It's like almost one mother dying almost every day, one and a half mothers. Yes. And we had 141 infants died between September and October, just this month, yes. this record. We just it's had a high a number. Very, very yeah. high number. And it is a staggering number. Yes. It's highest in the country. Yes. So maybe in a village, a person may not know what is going on in the neighboring village. Mm -hmm. Forget about the neighboring districts. So if we have this VHC, we can give them information saying that in Meghalaya, look at, look at our state, mm -hmm. we are having this many infant mm -hmm. deaths. Now, when, the, uh, when they are sensitized through this VHC, the village health council will realize, oh yes, even in our village, we have this many infant deaths, they were not spared. So let us talk about infant death. Mm -hmm. So we have this um, maternal mortality very high, infant deaths are very high. We have so many people dying of cancer, TB. Mm -hmm. We have so many uh, dropouts in immunization. So looking at the scenario of the entire state, we have come up with 12 health issues points. Mm -hmm. So based on this, we have made this IEC book. And then Kong um, Florentin will be able to share us more on that. And she'll be able to show us that mm -hmm. book. So this book is used as a guidebook. <coughs> as of now. Mm -hmm. So in the book, these various topics are mentioned, like maternal is mentioned, kangaroo mother care is mentioned. We, we, it's very interesting, we also have more than 50% women who are anemic. Mm -hmm. That means our blood is below, below 12 gram. Mm -hmm. Lot of children who are malnourished. So because of this, all these topics that are so prevalent, we have made this IEC book, in that book, it is made in a very uh, comic form, mm -hmm. in a very simple language. And uh, <coughs> the executive body members are expected to go through that book first by themselves. The ASHA, Anganwadi worker, the ANM will also be there mm -hmm. to help them always in addressing the mm -hmm. health issues. So these permanent members, this IEC mm -hmm. book, the, uh, the material mm -hmm. that we give, also through the app, we would be feeding videos from time to time and giving health talks time to time. So all of these resources will be able to guide the VHC to discuss about whatever is prevalent mm -hmm. in their community. So we will it is made sure that wrong information does oh. not go. So that is one of our concern. Mm -hmm. That is why we have distributed uh, two IEC books in every VHC mm -hmm. along with the register. So that that IEC book will be like a reference book for them. Mm -hmm. You know, for, for one thing, for them to get the wholesome information, to have point of discussion, because that IEC book will guide them on what to discuss. And also so that it can be, pre they, the VHCs can be prevented from receiving wrong information from wrong sources. Kod kita ki jangka village health council mo kita kita ki IEC book kabingi ang mo. Kani ka IEC book hang ni ki download kung ba pikeli ha shwa mane sa pang ki i kita ki mat ki bangi la abne kren mo kita ka village health council kala abne kren hapor bagi pelongi ka meeting. Di hang ni ki la download taki agenda tani ki mat ki ba pair ba pair ki ba don kung ba la ongi doctor mane ba halo ki jing pang ba pair ba pair mo. นั่นดูกับบัตรดังฮีกิลาบัตรไทยชายเฉพาะกับกำลังจงกับวิทย์ซีกับวิลเลจเอลคาวน์ซิลหังนี้รู้กับบัตรไทยเฉพาะกิต
kaladon do kubi ka ka top ka ba ki batay sa pang ka kot ka kia ha ka bor perkat mo kani la ta lani ka taka mental health ka ba kani ro ka de ka wei na ka ka jing ta mo ka ba la ban wan ra ki priyo pa kan ka ta ka kot ka kia de ma teng teng ni ju ka let ba hai kani ka benta ti hang ni ro ka la long ka ka la long ka ba se so ba de ma ling ba kani ka jing don ju kini ki ic ka la kham pen wan ra su su e ka komiti bakin sothu kumno bakin ya chaprang ha baki pelong dan ni kistang ya kita ki meeting ki jongki bat kumjo ru kadon ka dik village health council register mo kandi ka dik register ka ba por baki la long meeting la ban tho ki ek ek ki jing mot ki baki sham ki ek ek baki yo ha bok kasnong ka jongki ki lap mo ki ne baro kha ki long ta ki kot ya rab ki baki la ban ai jing men to ya ka village health council ha bok ka sham ka jongki Complacent bone Kong, Doctor, may we come back? Coming back to you, since we've seen these books, do these books come only in English? As you've seen this one, how many languages does it get printed out? So we have, besides English, four other local languages in Khasi, Punar, Garo, and Bengali, because there are also pockets in Garo Hill, especially where there are Bengali-speaking people. So to reach out to them mm -hmm. we also have this translated in okay. bengali so our aim is that it should just the message should just reach up yes. to the last mile of the people thank you doctor kong florentina and pai bian shi phimo phila ju in am ki a ki jing le sing la ban ong ki khubor ba so tanat mo ling ba ki jing le chung phi chi ki feel a mo fi don ni a ki jing ke ek jing ke jing tre kam lagi nak apa nong tamu, kita ikut jeng terikam, kita bagi ni ke VHC, kita le haduk mentah. Oh, ada apa ke district ke jengi, ke apa East Khasi Hills mu, kita ke Village Health Council, kita pun kita mentah, kita bagi kita le. Ah, apa ni le? Keleng keleng apa kis nong, kum bangun suai nuk saya fi, kum apa kis nong mau sedang, kemudian apa mau pelang mu, kini kita Kini ke council hi kalau ada bon ki ek ek kumki awareness program kila penong ru ikini ki kumha kene ki aganwadi center mo kila ju stang pande ada kita ki nutri kitchen garden kumlu ki thong hi ki jor ki jab ti ki ay ada ki long kumie kham tam ki baduna haka yok kekot mo ling ba kajing teh storm jong kini ke council bat kini sa ay pade ya kita ki kumki jor ki ba teh ya kade kot met mo Kini perlu kau dekawi kau kamp kau berkongsan kau bagi lale apa kesenang mau sedang. Ti halo orang kata ru bagi lale kumki kum bagi lale home visit lani kile jengok ikilong kami kibar armet lama kikau ban motivate lani kau ban penjuluh lagi lani khas apa kiki hospital mo hospital private sorkar lani kiki private. Bat kumjuru bagi lale pun kiki bentah kau bagi lale ru kalong ba. Kidan lese kom ki ki long kami ki bakwa ban khas hospital kila ya rabling bah jong ka skim jong ka CM SMS ka skim kum nu bakin pun poi ki long kami daka mod daka kali ling ba ka VHC sepo ki daka ka ka jong ki bat kum juru habangi phaish kui pati ki snong kidan ka snong kum hapo shela ka snong wa long ru ling ba jong ka ka village health council kum nu bakila pun poi ya ka long kami mo ka bla su kha Haduk new new spa tadi ke steps mo, ki mau kendoan, ki bangi hak banyan, ki bangi dong dong hatu kesni badi, madam dijongi, madam additional, baling baju kene ka council kumlu ki ki ra la ni ki pen yarap, ki ya kalong kami haduk bahkan poi seduk ke PHC, mo kini kalong ke EKE ki ba ke kini hi ka council kala kala le, badah bangi pay kum ki senong light kerhong, kala light kerhong ru kala le bon ke EKE mo, ki ha ha kerana ka awareness program Kadang ka jinglet jengok lagi yang mahu kilang kami ke barangan, ya ki kelung kena ki baklam ay, tika mahu ki baklam ay pura, kila long drop out, kila i no. Di ling bah jom ni ke council, kila lent jengok, kila lent hikai ki, ki ay jeng pensai ki, kini ruk kilang ki 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 bakila ni apa kasnong lagi terhong. Bad apa ni pay pada si kawik kebenda jom kawik kasnong hi kebenda apa jong sha, tak kasnong rasong ro. Kadai kasnong ke bangi ong hakti nong kawik hard to reach. Dan ikut berjencar bahapan poy mo, kumgi kibri bahapan poy nama, ya biar bun kentah bahapan poy serta. Tiap bangi pay sekali kesenang, 
hoat kadon ha kaba kalong kaba khampa ji kaba chngai tang ba ki bon ki 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 baki ki dale ki lale kum ki awareness program ma ki lam pha ba ki ang tu ka ka jur bha ka ni ka tin tin age pregnancy ta ni ka jing yo lok ha ka por ba rang khna ba ti ki ai awareness program halo chung ki ta ki pelong ru ki ding pon khoj nong but kawai ka ba so tanat kalong ba ha por ba ki pelong ki ne ka environment di ma ha ka sngi ha ka to ka santar ring chung pa nai jun ki thong ki sang pan pan hi kai ki khna ki involve la ni ki pan don ka mi khna school ta ka ba ki thong ye ki dieng ki ki u ba kin pan so thu san don ba kum nu ngi la ban pan sip la ni ban pin a ne ya ka mar yang ka tong ni ti kini ki long ki ik ki ban ta ki ba ne si ga la dang ong ye phi ki dang bon mo ta ba ki long ki ik ki bang la su sat na mar ba ki long ki ba so ta na na mar ba ha wat ke ka council ko tong ni ki da per ka da bo ka district ko tong ni ki dang bon hi ki ba ki pat da long active than ha do ka ta tang ki dang sa ko ba lai pho ha do sa pho pho sen hindre ngi kanmen ro ba ki ni bar ko ha kin sa poi mo ko ba ni kwa he ka shis pa pho sen ba ki long active ba ki tre ba de tang ka ni hi ki long ki ek ha pho ka district ki tong ni please shu bun ko sa sali doctor we've come towards the end of our program uh, doctor do you have any message to our viewers who are watching this program Yes. Um, <coughs> I would like to tell every VHCs, those who are watching, or even those who are not related to VHC, that please remember, community has a real great power and influence. And when we empower community, we can bring great change, not just in any sector, be it in health sector, educational, social, or anything involving the community. VAC is formed in the community, for the community, and by the community. So VAC has come to this stage because during our COVID experience, we have found out that because of a large voluntary participation of community, we have had such a great uh, you know, I wouldn't say like really excellent, but we could manage a pandemic situation like COVID, which had never happened in human history before. So because of this, you know, there is a strength in community. Because of this, Village Health Council is formed so that we can unitedly empower the community to address the health issues that are so glaring in our state particularly not just health, but nutrition issue, and in future, other issues as well. So I would like to really request the leaders that you please uh, actively participate in this VHCs. Please take ownership and leadership, and you will see transformational change. I must mention that this kind of model, similar model was applied in other countries, like Nepal, in some other African countries, and then they have seen a huge change. There was a huge transformation in the community. Everything changed. People changed. As a result, I do believe that if we can really bring VHC and make it functional at its full, we would be able to see a transformed Meghalaya. We already hear so many stories of people of uh, people being empowered to make decisions, helping one another to make decisions. I will tell you stories of East Garo Hills, uh, East Gentia Hills, where there were pregnant women who were refusing to go to hospital for various reasons, like no money, no transportation, scared of going to hospital. But the VHC, the, <coughs> the headman went along with the other VHC members, spoke to the pregnant woman, and her family members convinced them to go to hospital, arranged for them vehicles, and you know, they had such a um, welcoming outcome. So also we have seen people talking about teenage pregnancy, about substance abuse. We have seen an incident in South Garo Hills where they realized that their village was very backward, where they needed a sub-center. So the village health council uh, together, along with uh, the consensus of the villagers, they, they said and approached the medical officer and then the uh, district administration and said we will build sub center so you know we have so many stories like this pockets coming from uh, various places in meghalaya itself so i do believe that once you get this vision of vhc it is going to really transform our state 
So with this word, I would like to once again re uh, reiterate that VHC is going to really transform our state, your community, with your active participation. So thank you very much. Thank you, Doctor. Conflorestina, for any aki kiti and kado niki kubor kiba fikwa aban aish ki tu kiba pet ekani ka program jungi. Right, kuplish putkong. Ka kubor hi kalong ba ni kwa asha ba kabrich hal council ka jungi kandon ka taka jung smooth try na ba ka council hi kadi na benta ka jung pi na benta ka shnong ka jung pi man kanti ay ka jung kotong kya po ka shnong. Ni so tenat habang ni pet ay ka shnong ka jungi kalong ka bakot bakya. Di taka daong ni don kami ni ki council ki jung iru pa kinong ki balong active dan ni kilong ki baterai kam mo kenang bagi don ra ka taka jung kala um tang hapo ka shnong ki jungi hindi ha ka jalahi pero kawai. Tinggal don kam kalau saya akan ni ka, akan ni ka message dan ni ka kubur kalau orang bagi don kam, ya ka jingas nak di langjang iway iway. Nimla aban cuci orang baka council kalau dia tik tangha kita kita cut kita don. Hendai baru cut kita orang shong shong, kita dek ka general body, kita dek ka executive, pad baru cut dia kita don ka benta, ka ba kiri kiri kila, bagi don sim benta lang, kenang bagi la aban kentiu kita jingkot jingkia, baka shong ka jingki. Tiga kubleh sepon. Kebelah si Bun Kong. Di perlokat tu kita pergi ke perkut jong kini ke program ke jong ini. Saya sih yang ayah kubleh biang ya Dr Mary Deborman, bat ikong Florentina Lingdo kita la ayah jing Shai ini halor ke Village Health Council. Di hadu bagi Malaysia membuat pih hakwe perkapor nak duduk dan kendo selong ayah kubleh biang ini pih baru.